Hello, Virgo. Hello, hello, my loves. Finally getting there and finishing up the November messages. Start checking tomorrow. I'll start with Scorpio again and go around the wheel to get some bonus messages going. But let's see what's going on. You got some good news coming in. Medium Coley, Pinnacle of Success. Could be career, life, love. Could be a new love coming in. It could be things really turning around, especially career-wise, financially, or it could be something related with the Pinnacles. Five of Pinnacles reversed. I feel like this is something very good. The Rider which is nine of cups energy with the nine of hearts we've got the snake and um, with the queen of clubs so queen of wands could be a fire sign involved maybe um or you could just be feeling very confident about this that this is a really good move and um, the snake's not always bad the snake's not always bad um definitely with something as well um somebody could be a little sour grapes about something that's good news for you. If you get a promotion, somebody could be jealous. If you win a thousand dollars on the lottery, Virgo, somebody could be jealous. Um, if you get into a new relationship or if your relationship makes a turn for the better, somebody could be jealous. Alternately, you know, you could be jealous about somebody else going on, but I definitely am reading for Virgo. Put it to whatever your situation is because it's a general message. I feel like there's something good coming in, but not everybody's going to be happy for you. Okay, is what I'm feeling like, Virgo. Okay, feeling like not everybody's going to be happy for you, but don't let that dilute your success. Okay, so we've got the ship. So moving on, some of you could be traveling or making a move as well. And we got the birds. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of chatter and gossip. Okay, a lot of chatter and gossip. But people are going to have a lot to say about what you've got going on in November, Virgo. People are going to have a lot to say, and it is your job just to not worry about it. The tower is different. We've got the six of spades. So, again, that is... Um, I remember my cardomancy. Some of you are going to correct me, but we've got the six of spades and the ten of spades with the ship and the tower. So you should firmly, the tower is about confidence and strict boundaries. I feel like it can definitely be about work. There's a lot indicating you could get a promotion, a raise, a bonus, maybe a great new job. Somebody's jealous though. That's the birds. Seven of diamonds. Seven of diamonds. Look at this, the pentacles. Somebody's jealous. Maybe you got a smoking hot new partner. All right. The challenge is for you. You want these people to be happy for you. Legit happy. That's the problem. You're worrying too much about what other people are thinking about what you do. Could be family. They could have family ties, celebratory energy surround you and your family. So plan that special get together or reunion. This could happen around the holidays. Um, somebody could announce news that you don't think is a good idea. That could be going on as well. But I definitely feel like you have good news, Virgo. And everybody's not happy. Or what you think, what you feel is good news. What you feel is good news. But I don't think everybody's happy about it. There is some opposition. Uh, when one door closes, another opens. You still have a way out, just not the way you came in. Okay. We've got water in the reverse with shake it off. So you're absorbing too much negative energy. Get out of the water and dry yourself off. That's the challenge. You're wanting them to, you're wanting them or they're wanting you to be happy about this. All right. So there could be something that somebody else is planning to do that you're not happy about that you think they shouldn't do. All right. You should, not that you're necessarily jealous, but there is some energy that you or somebody around you is making a decision and you think it's wrong or they think what you're doing is wrong. Uh, air in the reverse with read the fine print, a situation, a contract or plan requires your attention. So there could be something going on with contracts. Again, somebody may be moving. Uh, maybe you're taking a cruise or some other travel. It could be for work. Um, some of you, again, could be a lease or something or another. Some of you could actually be dealing with like maybe a court case as well because we've got the tower. There could be that you're getting a raise and you don't think it's good enough as well. Uh, you may try to negotiate a, ratio, a relationship as much like a dance. As long as you keep in step with your partner, you'll both move forward together. I wouldn't be afraid to negotiate. If you feel like you're not getting a great deal on something, I wouldn't be afraid to negotiate. Okay? All right, Virgo. I wouldn't be afraid to negotiate. Um, I do feel like that somebody, though, if you've got some good news coming in, somebody is definitely going to be jealous. Or there's a lot of talk. A lot of people talking. Or you're talking to a lot of people about what somebody else is doing that you don't think is right. 
Um, that's a that's a message too. What else we got for Virgo? Queen of Pentacles. There you are showing up. Page of Cups. Yeah, I think I feel like you definitely have a gift. And we got the Five of Cups. So definitely focus on the positive because you're excited. And that's the way this, this reading is now going. Whatever else, that was the message. But on this, whatever it is, career, life, love, this opportunity for you, you're very excited about. Not everybody else is, but that's not where you're supposed to be focusing. But it's hard not to. Okay. So we got the Judgment card coming. We've got the Four of Swords. So this is something that's already been in the works. It's happening. I mean, you're not going back on it. But you, oh, look at all this major arcana. Judgment, the world, the will of fortune. Mm. Devil on the bottom. Could be dealing with the Capricorn. Definitely there's maybe... Could be dealing with the Capricorn. I got Aquarius and Scorpio energy as well as Sagittarius. Definitely could be timing with that Scorpio and Sagittarius energy. Um, nine of wands on the empress. They're kind of making you kind of second guess yourself. So there is somebody that it doesn't mean it's a lot of people. It could, it could be multiple people. I'm not seeing a lot of court cards. Um, right now, some of you might be having trouble, uh, with the decision. One of your children is making with that page of cups crossing the queen of pentacles. All right. So we got that, but somebody else is not happy with the decision you're making the world with the high priestess and the hero fan. So we've got Taurus and Pisces energy on that. A lot of major arcana. This is a big deal. Pisces energy again. Seven of Pentacles, Four of Wands, Will of Fortune. Again, I wouldn't change your plans just because of somebody's opinion. Be careful about that. And I wouldn't let it dilute anything. More major arcana with the justice on the bottom, Virgo. Uh, it could have been something that started in Libra season. Uh, could be dealing with any of the energies that are coming up. It's a general message. But regardless, I see that major arcana, arcana and it's a big thing. Maybe you're starting your own business. Maybe you're making a physical move. Uh, maybe to a different city even with that ship. Um, maybe you're taking a job promotion. I don't know what's going on, but it's good news for you. Do not let the others around you dilute your success. You know what I'm saying? Like, just because they're going to tell you, like, oh, what if this goes wrong? What if that goes wrong? Absolutely. A million things could go wrong on any given day, right? This is good news for you. Whatever the future holds, this is good news for you, and this is where you're supposed to be in this moment, Virgo. Justice, Ten of Cups, King of Swords, Two of Wands. In the future, time will tell that this was a really good thing. Things will move very quickly. And actually, I actually think whoever's got sour grapes will probably come up and say, yeah, I was against this in the beginning, but I can see this really was a good thing for you, Virgo. Alternately, if you're against what someone else is doing and think it's a bad idea, you could potentially go back to this person and say that. All right. Big leap of faith. Very confident. Uh, confidence may be an issue that you're going to have to stay with. So, again, whatever's going on, this is nicking at you. It's diluting it. And your goal is to not let some... Um, Somebody throw a cloud, you know, make your, don't let them throw a cloud on this, Virgo. Don't let others throw a cloud on something really good that's coming. Um, that's your goal. That's the big lesson here. That's the big lesson in November, Virgo, is someone's trying to rain on your parade. It's going to be really hard. There's something that ticks at you. Um, there's something about it that their opinion really matters to you, that you really want them to be on board. But I'm going to tell you, Virgo, the only person that needs to be on board with this change is you. Um, the future will show that this was the right change. Now, if it's somebody else, be careful not to rain on their parade and just see what happens. Okay. Um, this isn't really, this is a time with all this major arcana, because it is even showing up and, you know, all this, the fool. Somebody may think you're making a taking a decision lightly, but you're not, or you may think someone's taking a decision lightly, but they're not. This decision is not being made lightly. Um, this decision is not being made lightly. Uh, you know that if it involves you, but if you're thinking about somebody else doing something, they're not taking this decision lightly. This is, um, they've given this a lot of thought or you have, the pros and cons have been weighed, and time will tell. Good luck, Virgo. Don't let them rain on your parade. <laughs>